Hello everyone, myself is Dr. Adarsh. I am a consultant anesthesiologist in Astra Arvi Hospital. I mainly take care of the cardiac anesthesiology and general anesthesia as well. So every year 16th October is celebrated as World Anesthesia Day and this year it's no different. So the importance of safer techniques and how to improve the patient satisfaction with each patient undergoing a surgery or any procedure that needs or requires anesthesia will be taken care by us. So I am broadly uh, telling about the types of anesthesia. Many as a layman people don't understand what are the types of anesthesia. So I will be just categorizing uh, the types of anesthesia that are available in the modern, uh, modern era. So the first comes the general anesthesia where com patient is completely put to sleep. So you will not be aware of your surroundings, you will not be having any pain and you will not remember the, the surgery procedure as well. Then the new other techniques are central neuroaxial blockade which includes uh, spinal anesthesia as well as epidural anesthesia. So these are all usually performed for surgeries which are conducted on the lower abdomen uh, like all hernia surgeries or even the pregnancies which needs uh, cesarean sections. So this will be covered under central neuroaxial anesthesia. So here only the lower half of the body is anesthetized. So you will be still be uh, you are wide awake, you, you can hear people talk, so that is how it is done. And but your surgery will be painless. So that is the central neuroxial blockade. Moving on from the central neuroxial blockade, we have something called as the regional anesthesia or what you call as nerve blocks. Suppose the surgery is involving one limb, either upper limb or lower limb or it is any specific uh, fingers, distal, distal most part of the body. So, so th in those patients where it is possible, we try to avoid central neuroxial anesthesia if it is not required and that is all done under regional anesthesia or as or also called as nerve blocks. And next the other types of anesthesia will be total intravenous anesthesia. So this total intravenous anesthesia is here, we will be using uh, mainly IV intravenous anesthesia agents to keep you asleep. So this is, uh, we have come up with a new infusion pumps which can be uh, targeted according to the patient height and weight and according to the we can adjust the plasma concentration as well as the concentration in your brain. So that's how we control the exact amount of medicine that has to be given to you make you sleep. So that is the new techniques. So for at every point we make sure that the patient uh, doesn't have any pain and we usually plan our post-operative pain from the pre-operative period and we'll be telling the patient. So it is sometimes the anesthesia may be combined. Suppose it may be a general anesthesia along with an epidural analgesia for the taking care of the post-operative pain. Uh, in Astar RV, we have a team of uh, anesthesiologists. We are uh, six consultants as well as uh, seven uh, specialists. So in the six consultants, we have uh, people taking care of uh, cardiac anesthesia. There are two, uh, two consultants and two consultants are taking care mainly of neuroanesthesia. And uh, other two consultants, they take care of uh, transplant anesthesia as well as orthopedics and in all other specialties. As a team, we are doing around 400 to 500 cases in a month. And our main aim is to have uh, better patient safety with each and every uh, patient and that will be carried out from the intraop towards the post-operative period as well.